हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एस आर फार्मा ज्ञान टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक नॉम एनक्लेचर ऑफ एलिफेटिक हाइड्रोकार्बन अकॉर्डिंग टू आयोपैक सिस्टम दिस पार्ट एक्चुअली इट इज इंक्लूडेड इन बी फार्मा सेकेंड सेमिस्टर सिलेबस इन फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री वन Uh, in our channel, we are going to cover the topics uh, as per the syllabus of Pharmacy Council of India for B Pharmacy course. I have divided this topic in two part. In first part, I am going to discuss about the general rules and regulations, uh, norms of uh, nomenclature of aliphatic hydrocarbons. In second part, I will discuss about the nomenclature of complex molecule as well as the cyclic molecules. Let's start with the topic. What is actually aliphatic hydrocarbons? Aliphatic hydrocarbons are hydrogen and carbon containing compounds in which the carbons are generally linked together in chain structure. Hydrocarbons broadly divided into two types aliphatic and aromatic. Aliphatics further can be divided as alkene, cycloalkenes, alkenes, cycloalkenes, and alkynes. In this video, I am going to uh, discuss specifically about the nomenclature of aliphatic hydrocarbons. Whenever we go for nomenclature of any hydrocarbons, it consists of four parts prefix, root word, primary suffix, and secondary suffix. Prefix that includes the substitution that is attached with the main chain. Root word is the parent name of that hydrocarbon which depends on the number of carbon present in the chain. Primary suffix that includes the nature of the bond, which type of bond it is, whether it is double bonded, triple bonded or single bonded compounds. Secondary suffix that is denoted for functional group. If any functional group is attached, then it will be included as secondary suffix. Let's elaborate it. If we go for uh, alkene, generally alkenes are strict uh, chain structure uh, consist only single bond. This is the general molecular formula for any alkene. So if we see any molecular formula like C4H10. So if this molecular formula can comply with this uh, mole molecular structure comply with this formula then it will be considered as alkene. Like N here it is 4. So we can write it 2 into 4 plus 2. So it is 10. So this formula is complying with this general formula of alkene. So C4H10 is an alkene. Similarly, we will take an example of alkenes C4H8. So whether it is complying with this formula or not, and here again it is 4. C4H2 into 4. It is 8. So this structure complying with the C and H2 n so C4H8 is a alkene. Similarly, if we take an example of C4H6, then similarly C4H2 into 4 minus 2. So it is 6. So this is complying with this molecular formula C4H6 is an alkene. So like that also we can identify from the molecular formula whether it is alkene, alkene or alkyne. <coughs> Now coming to the primary suffix, the nature of bond. If any hydrocarbon only singly bonded, carbon atoms are singly bonded with a single bond, then it is considered as alkene. Then we will give the primary suffix as A and E. If there is a double bond, at least one double bond present in the structure, then it will be considered as alkene. So the primary suffix that we are giving is for E and E. So that you have to remember. Similarly for alkene, if at least one triple bond present in the structure, then it will be considered as alkyne. Y and E. You have to remember one thing. If at least one, a single double bond is present, then also the whole molecule will be considered as alkene. Let's come to the root word. So the root word generally depends on the number of the carbon atom. Similarly, if you go for one carbon atom hydrocarbon, then it is a meth that you have to give meth. The root word will be meth. If two carbon is there, then it. If three is there, prop. Four, but. Five, pent. Six, hex. Seven, hept. Eight, 
oct 9 non 10 dec so like that we have to give the root word according to the carbon number i will prefer that you sit with a paper and pen and write in all these things so that in coming time you can get reference of this root word so like that we can set the root word similarly this is the simplest structure of alkane so as in the previous one we have uh, learned that if alkane is present then we have to put a and e similarly if one carbon atom alkane is there then you have to give the name methane if two carbon atom alkane then it is ethane so like that we can give the numbering for simplest hydrocarbons let's practice with some example so how many carbons are there one two three so for three carbon atoms we have to give prop and it is an alkane so for al alkane we have to give a and e as a primary suffix so this is the root word this is a primary suffix so what will be the name propane similarly come to this one two three four five six total six carbon atom is there for six it is hex and it is an alkane so for primary suffix it is a and e the total name it will be hexane we'll talk with about this how many carbon atom is there one two three four for four it is butte it is an alkene so for alkene what is the primary suffix e and e the primary suffix or it is a and e and for alkene it is e and e in which position it is there one so we have to give butte one in so that is also butin so that numbering process i will discuss later on let get some example of simplest hydrocarbon simple naming process 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it is hept it is a double bond is present one double bond is present so it is alkene in in which position double bond is there two so in two we have to give the double bond is there so hept to in so like that we can give the naming <coughs> if you come to this one two three four it is butte what is it is a triple bond for triple bond what is the primary suffix y and e for primary suffix is y and e in one position it is there so it is butine one thing you remember when there will be one position the functional group or the double bond triple bond is present in first position by default we can omit it so that will be butine for this one two three four five six so it is hex it is an alkyne y n e so one so it will be hexo hex ion so one thing we can omit number one by default if it is present in number uh, triple one present in number one one thing you remember that whenever we are going to put any number here it is two here it is one whenever we are putting any number before or after that number we have to put one dash anywhere in any naming whenever we are putting any number before and after that number you have to put dash if it is in between now coming to the general rules of nomenclature the first thing that we have to understand how to select the longest chain as it is a chain structure we have to select the longest chain what are the rules for selecting the longest chain let's come to the first part we have to count the chain in which we are getting maximum number of carbon atom suppose one two three four so if you go to this we are getting four carbon chain one two three four five we are getting five carbon chain one two three four here we are getting four so definitely five we have to select at five is the longest carbon chain so that carbon chain that we have to select and this will be considered as substituent for this compound one two three four it's a four carbon atom one two three four five six it's six now if you count this one one two three four five six 
it's six one two three four five it is five so we have to select this as a main carbon chain as it consists of six carbon atoms this is maximum possible count for this carbon chain okay next rule it is if any functional group is present that must be included into the carbon chain so here we are going to consider double bond as a functional group so this must be included into the structure so including this ch2 how we can give the numbering one two three four one two three four we can find both the case four numbers are there and also if this type of things are happening we will find that both the identical structure is present so either we can choose this is the longest chain including the functional group or we can also select this as a longest chain for including the functional group for this this must be included in the chain as it is a functional group one two three four one two three four one two three four five so this is the longest chain we are getting including the functional group in the chain so this will be considered as substituent so this is the chain that we have to select next come uh, next come to the rule whenever any carbon containing functional group is there like c double or cho conh2 cn so if any carbon containing functional group is there we have to give first number or we have to include that carbon into the chain so this is the carbon containing functional group so one two three four so like that it is four carbon atom including the functional group if you go to you know, go for this chain one two three four five so this is five carbon atom including the functional group if you select this one one two three four so definitely this is the longest carbon chain including the carbon containing functional group so for this also one two three so this will be considered the longest chain for this now if we have two chain with equal number of carbon then we have to select that chain having maximum branching what is actually that see that we can select here one two three four five five carbon atom if you select this one one two three four five this is also five carbon atom so both the case we have five carbon atoms in the chain but if we select this chain this will be considered as a branching so how many branching is there one but if we select this one how many branching is there two so we have to as we are getting maximum branching if we select this chain so we have to finalize with this chain this is the correct chain that we have for nomenclature of this compound now coming to this example how um, uh, we can uh, count the chain 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 is there how many branching is there one branching and this total will be one branch one branching so total it will be two branching if we select this carbon chain how many branching is there one two three four five similarly five carbon atom chain how many branching is there one two three four total four branching is there so we have to select this as a main chain as we are getting maximum branching for this structure now we, can, we learn that how to select the longest chain now come to the next part of this nomenclature numbering of the chain so we have to give the lowest number to the functional group then double bond then triple bond then side chain that means we have to give the first preference to the functional group if it is present in the structure if functional group is not present then we have to consider the double bond we have to give preference to the double bond if double bond is not present then we have to consider the triple bond if both the double bond and triple bond is present then we have to consider double bond only if functional group is present and triple bond is present in the structure then we have to consider the functional group only now what for we have just considering for considering the number 
that means this is the structure take an example of this is the structure where this is the functional group CWH is the functional group and this is the double one so we have to give the lowest numbering to that functional group as it is having the maximum preference we should not give number to like this because in that case double bond is getting more preference than that of CWH so this is the right numbering process this is wrong numbering process let's take another example this is the functional group present over here one thing uh, you remember that if carbon containing functional group is there one number has to be given to that carbon but this is not a carbon containing functional group but this functional group is attached to this carbon atom so this carbon atom we have to give preference so this is the right numbering process if you go for this number this is wrong because the functional group is not getting preference over double bond for this structure we can also go for this numbering process one two three four we can also go for this numbering process including the maximum carbon so if we give this numbering process which is getting the first preference which is a functional group and here which is getting another which which is uh, might be considered will be considered as a uh, substituent also gathering getting second preference here so this numbering process it will be right this numbering process it will be wrong because in this numbering process double bond is getting preference more than that of functional group now coming to the second rule numbering of the chain where the double bond and triple bond is present definitely included in the chain that we have learned before and while in numbering process the double bond and the triple bond if it is present that must be get must get lower position number so in the previous time we have remembered that we have selected this is the longest chain so we can give numbering two three four like that also we can also give numbering like that also but here if we give this numbering the double bond uh, containing carbon atom is getting third number and if you go for this side double bond uh, uh, containing carbon atom is getting one number so definitely we have to give preference to the lowest position number for the double bond so this is correct numbering process this is wrong numbering process now for this we have to select the longest chain see this is the longest chain this is the longest chain but we cannot consider this is longest chain because this C double bond C is not included in the chain so we have to consider this carbon atom along with the longest chain so that will be the longest chain where C double bond C was included so like that we have to select as we have learned already now we give the numbering 1 2 3 4 5 like that we can give numbering where double bond is getting number 1 that means the lowest position so this will be the correct numbering process for this compound let's come to the next no, rule numbering should be done selecting the lowest set of locant so we have to follow the rules of lowest set of locant so previously the similar structure I have taken we have selected the longest chain here this one because the more branching we are getting now if we give numbering from this side and we can also give numbering from this side see that if we follow this numbering the first substitution occurs in second position and the second substitution this substitution occurs in third position but if you give this number if you follow this numbering process the first substitution is getting in third position and the second substitution is getting in fourth position so this is the lowest number if we follow this numbering process the first substitution is getting the lowest number so 2 and 3 is the lowest number compared to 3 and 4 so you have to follow the rule where the substitutions are getting lower number so this will be the right numbering process this will be the wrong numbering process let's come to this structure another example by following all the following all the rules we have selected this is the 
mean three. We can give numbering one, two, three, four, five. We can also give numbering one, two, three, four, five. So if we follow this numbering process, the first substitution occurs in the second position. Two substitution is there, one methyl, one methyl. So two second position, two substitution is there. The next substitution is in third position. Then the next substitution is it in fourth position. So this is the presence of a numbering of locants. Now if you follow this numbering process, this side numbering process, the first substitution is there in second position. Second substitution is there in third position. The next substitution present in fourth position. Okay. So here it is common. Okay. The next two, if you consider this is two, this is three. This one is the lowest one compared to this. So this will be the right numbering process. This will be the wrong numbering process. So like that we have to check uh, the numbering process in which the substitutions are getting the lowest number. So this is the right numbering process. This is the wrong numbering process. Now if two substitutions are there which are similar like chlorine and bromine both are halogens there is no difference in their preference then we have to give the numbering alphabetically so we have to give it as a bromo for chloro, uh, chlorine it is chloro so b comes first alphabetically so that bromine must get the lowest number so to get lowest number we have to give the numbering like this so bromine is getting second number here if you follow this numbering Bromine is getting fourth number. So this is wrong numbering. This is right numbering process. Let's come to the uh, come to the next rule. Whenever there will be a uh, more substitutions are there, then the first substitution, if they are getting the same number, if the first substitution is getting the same number, then we have to consider the second substitution, which must get the lower number. Come to the next example. Suppose if you go follow this process, the substitution is getting second number. If you follow this process, the substitution is getting fourth number. So two definitely lower than four. So this is the right numbering process. This is the wrong numbering process. Let's come to this one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we come to this side, the first substitution is in third position the second substitution is in fifth position if here the first substitution is second position second substitution is in fourth position so definitely this is the lower number we have to consider this numbering process now coming to this part one two three four five six one two three four five six if you follow this numbering process the first substitution comes in second then four then 5 if we follow this process the first substitution come in second so second second okay it is same but the, if you if uh, second second is same then you have to consider the second substitution it is in third it is in fifth so this three is lower than that of four so definitely we have to follow this numbering process this is wrong let's come to the preference of functional group if the functional group is present in the hydrocarbons that will be included in secondary suffix so if two functional group is present in any structure so one functional group it will be considered it will be included in secondary suffix and the second functional group will be considered as substitution so that will be included in prefix so what the preference that we have to give like carboxylic acid will give, get the maximum preference so definitely if carboxylic acid and amine is present in a single structure carboxylic acid will be considered as a functional group so c double h functional group that will get the first preference then sulfonic acid so3 h will get the next preference then sulfonic acid is also there that is so2 h that will also get preference after the sulfonic acid then esters then amide then nitrile then 
aldehydes then ketone then alcohol then amine so details of this preference including the structures if you follow this link below mentioned link you can get the details of the preference of the functional group in IUPAC naming system now how to go for functional group naming a functional group that is attached with the hydrocarbon it may be represented as prefix or secondary suffix the functional group attached with the hydrocarbon if it is getting the maximum preference then it will be included as a secondary suffix or else it will be considered as a substituent and it will be included in prefix when the group is represented as a substitution then it will be included in prefix let's take an example of this structure here two functional group is present NH2 and OH so if we consider OH is the main functional group then how we can go for naming how many carbon atom is there 1 2 3 4 so 4 carbon atom what do you call this is but and it is an alkane no double bond is present so that is ANE butane and if OH group is present as a main functional group then it is OL we have to also mention the position it is in second first position butane 1 ol then in the first position NH2 group is also present but we have considered OH group as a functional group so that will be as a substitute substituent and it will be included in prefix before the name so that will be one amino it will be one amino butane one all see what two vowels are there o is there e is there so you have to remove that e so that the name will be one amino butane one all so that e we have to remove if we consider OH as a main functional group now let's take an example by considering NH2 as a main functional group if NH2 is a main functional group then definitely OH is a substitution the main parent name it will be same butane amine group is a main functional group butane 1 amine so here OH is a substituent one position one hydroxy one hydroxy butane one amine similarly here two vowels are there so e we have to remove so the final name it will be one hydroxy butane one amine okay so like that we can give numbering one thing you remember here one thing you can note here that if NH2 group is as a functional group then we are writing here amine if it is as a substitution we are giving amino similarly hydroxyl group if it is a main, uh, main functional group then we have to give OL if it is in substitution we have to write hydroxy so similarly which functional group in which position if it is present what the name should be that has been included in this table similarly we have learned just now if it is an prefix substitution what we have included hydroxy if it is a suffix what we have included ol for amine if it is in prefix amino if it is in main functional group suffix secondary suffix then it is amine similarly if aldehyde is present cho CH group is present as a substituent then formal we have to write if it is in secondary suffix AL that we have to write thiol mark apto and thiol CN is to amide carbamoyl and amide nitriles cyano nitrile ketone group oxo on so like that we have to remember it you just note it down so that it will be easy for you to refer in next slides some groups are there which only be included as a prefix not as a include not never is going to include as a suffix not to be considered as a main functional group so they are fluorine chlorine bromine iodine ethers azide alkyl diazo so these are the groups that will be included only as a prefix or as a substituent 
okay let's practice with some example what we have learned till the time let's with uh, practice with some example see this is a functional group present here so one two three this is this will be the naming numbering process this is the maximum carbon chain that is possible in this structure so three carbon chains so that will be propane as it is an alkene it will be propane in one position there is an alcohol so what you have to give if OH group is a main functional group secondary prefix it will be OL so O is present N is present so you have to remove E so that will be propane 1 all so you have to give this after and before the number let's discuss about the second example this is CHO group and OH group which group is going to get the maximum preference as, as per the chart CHO is going to get the maximum preference so 1 2 3 like that we have to give the numbering so this is an aldehyde how many carbon atoms 3 so that will be rope alkene propen as it is an alkene then you have to give n and then it is 1 l if aldehyde is present as a main functional group we have to give l and OH is as a substitution so what we have to write here 3 hydroxy 3 hydroxy propane 1 L so here 2 balls is there we have to omit E so what will be the final name 3 hydroxy propane 1 L so we can also remove this one by default so that also can be written as propanol see that OH group as a main functional group we have written all it is a substitution we are giving as hydroxy let's come to this example here CWH is present CH2 is present so this is considered as a main functional group we have to give the preference to this we have to give start the numbering from this structure here an example the second functional group is also a carbon containing functional group as we are considering this as a substituent we are not going to include in this in numbering process so we have to give numbering up to this only this we are consider the whole part we are considering as substituent so this is three carbon atom no double bond triple bond is present so propane if co double o h group is present as a main functional group what do you have to write weak acid this is as a substitution in which position 3 if CHO group is present as a substitution then what you have to write formyl so this is the name so what will be the total name O is there E is there so we have to omit E so what will the final name 3 formyl propane noic acid we can omit this one also as it is by default one if it is present we can omit it for this structure this is also carbon containing structure similarly this is also a carbon containing functional group that we may we cannot include this in the structure in the main chain so similarly it is a propanoic acid this part is common so this is 3 cyano if it is as a prefix substitution then you have the prefix will be for cyano group is cyanopropanoic acid let's come to this example 2 3 like that we have to give the numbering as cho group is going to get a maximum preference so it is propanal as per this propanal 3 amino propanal for this 1 2 this is not a carbon containing functional group but also it will get the maximum preference uh, more preference than that of chlorine so like that we have to give the numbering so it is ethane ethane 1 amine 
which chloro to chloro so one we can omit it and this e we can omit it to chloro ethanamine so this will be the final name of this structure now come to this structure this is a keto group one two three so this is the three carbon atoms so it is propen no double bond is present propen and if it is uh, co group is present what you have to write if it is in prefix oxo if it is in suffix then it is own in which position it is two position so we have to mention two so the name it will be this e we have to remove by because two vowels are present at the next to it so it will be propan to own let's come to this structure CH is getting more preference than that of CO so that will get more preference Pro, uh, hexanal it will be hexanal LDR is present in one position the both we have removed what is the group is present 3 oxo here it will be oxo see that if ketone group is present at the main functional group then we have given own if it is present as a substitution we have given oxo you just keep on practicing with different structure if you have any doubt write it in a comment box i try to i will try to solve it the next part of this video will be continuing with the complex nomenclature of different structures as well as cyclic compound thank you very much for listening let me conclude this video with the thought that a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new this is very true let's continue uh, with this thought for my next video